Positioned on the easternmost edge of the Indochinese Peninsula, Vietnam spans approximately 1,650 kilometers from north to south, narrowing to just about 50 kilometers across in its central region. The country is geographically segmented into three principal areas, Northern Vietnam, Central Vietnam, and Southern Vietnam. By late 2023, Vietnam's population surpassed 98 million, ranking it as the 15th most populous nation worldwide. This diverse population is composed of 54 ethnic groups, with the Kin people making up roughly 86% of the total. Notably, Vietnam boasts a predominantly young demographic, with a significant portion of its population under 30 years of age. Vietnam has also earned distinction as the world's second largest coffee producer. The nation takes pride in its robusta coffee beans and has gained international acclaim for inventive coffee concoctions such as egg coffee and coconut coffee. Additionally, motorbikes dominate as the preferred mode of transportation, profoundly influencing both the urban and rural landscapes of Vietnam. Get ready to explore some of the best places to visit in Vietnam. Hanoi, the capital of Vietnam, presents a captivating fusion of Eastern traditions and Western influences, epitomized by its Sino-Vietnamese motifs and French architectural heritage. This city has remarkably preserved its historical essence amidst modernization, emerging as a vibrant star in Southeast Asia. It boasts a wealth of cultural heritage, scenic lakes, lush parks, and lively boulevards. Known for its exquisite cuisine, dynamic nightlife, fine silks, and handicrafts, Hanoi also celebrates a diverse community influenced by Chinese, French, and Russian cultures. A visit to Hanoi often begins in the Old Quarter, a historic center of commerce dating back to the 13th century. This district retains its ancient charm, with streets once dedicated to specific trades, a tradition that persists today. Amidst ancient temples and traditional shop houses, modern businesses and skyscrapers find their place, creating a unique blend of the old and new. The city's lakes are central to its charm, with the iconic Huan Kim Lake at its heart, surrounded by other significant water bodies like West Lake and Trukbuk Lake. These lakes not only support diverse ecosystems, but also play a crucial role in enhancing urban biodiversity and moderating the city's microclimate. Hoan Kiem Lake, also known as the Lake of the Return Sword, offers a tranquil oasis in the historic heart of Hanoi. According to legend, in the mid-15th century, Emperor Le Tai To received a heavenly sword that empowered him to expel the Chinese from Vietnam. Following his victory, a majestic golden turtle reclaimed the sword, vanishing into the depths of this very lake. Today, daily routines blend into the calm waters. Tai Chi practitioners move slowly while ducks swim and chatter. Couples snap wedding photos among the flowers and seniors sit on benches playing intense chess matches. The culinary landscape of Hanoi is unparalleled, especially its street food scene, offering an array of delectable dishes. Food stalls become filled with activity at mealtimes, where locals gather on plastic stools to savor their food. Among Hanoi's architectural jewels is the Hanoi Opera House, built in 1911. This 900-seat venue hosts a diverse array of performances, from opera and ballet to traditional Vietnamese shows and international concerts. 
One of the most unique and intriguing places in Hanoi is the Hanoi Train Street. This narrow street is a residential street with a twist. A train track runs right through it. The train passes twice a day, and when it does, residents must quickly move their belongings and themselves out of the way. This unusual spectacle has become a popular tourist attraction, drawing visitors from around the world who come to witness the daily routine of the locals living in close quarters with the train. Finally, the St. Joseph's Cathedral is a historical edifice constructed in 1886 by the French colonial government. Esteemed as one of the oldest churches in Hanoi, it showcases the exquisite neo-Gothic architectural style. The cathedral is not just a religious structure, but also a symbol of the Catholic legacy in Vietnam, presenting a striking contrast in a country predominantly Buddhist. Ha Long Bay, a UNESCO World Heritage Site in Vietnam, stretches over 1,500 square kilometers with a geology that has evolved over 500 million years. This evolution has enabled the bay to withstand severe weather conditions and environmental changes, making it a testament to Earth's history. The name Ha Long Bay translates to Descending Dragon Bay in Vietnamese, a nod to the legend that dragons descended from heaven to aid locals in fending off invaders. According to this legend, the dragons spat out jewels and jade which transformed into the islands and islets dotting the bay, thus creating a natural fortress against intruders. Ha Long Bay, renowned for its approximately 1,600 islands and islets, is a prime example of a karst landscape. The bay's most captivating aspects are its renowned limestone pillars and islets, which dramatically ascend from the emerald waters of the Gulf of Tonkin. These limestone formations, many hollow and home to expansive caves and grottos, offer a diverse array of habitats for marine life, birds, and plant species in their crevices, caves, and sheltered waters. Over millions of years, the limestone karsts of Ha Long Bay have been shaped through the accumulation and erosion of marine sediments. The rainwater's erosive power has played a pivotal role in dissolving the limestone, thereby creating an array of unique formations including caves, arches, and pillars. Surrounding the bay, the waters teem with biodiversity, including 200 species of fish, 450 types of mollusks, and a multitude of hard and soft corals. The area is a haven for various ecosystems, including coral reefs, freshwater swamp forests, and dense mangrove forests, all supporting an abundance of flora and fauna. Integral to the cultural heritage of the region are Ha Long Bay's floating villages. 
Communities have lived for centuries in houses built on floating platforms, relying on fishing and aquaculture for their livelihood. These villages, such as Kuavan, Bahang, and Vung Vieng, are not merely tourist attractions, but living and working communities, nestled among the stunning limestone karsts and relying on the bay's rich marine life. A great experience in Halong Bay is the junk boat cruise. These traditional wooden boats, reminiscent of old Chinese trading vessels, provide a unique way to explore the emerald waters and towering limestone pillars of the bay. The cruise often includes visits to various islands, caves, and fishing villages, offering a comprehensive glimpse into life in Halong Bay. Some boats, decades old, now serve as floating hotels, combining modern amenities with traditional charm. For those seeking adventure, Halong Bay offers activities such as kayaking through the karsts, swimming in the emerald waters, exploring caves, rock climbing, and hiking in Kat Ba National Park, the bay's largest island. Kayaking in particular offers an intimate way to experience the bay's natural beauty. It allows visitors to paddle through calm waters, navigate around towering karst formations, discover hidden caves and secluded lagoons, and interact with local fishermen. Kayaking was not a common activity in the bay until the late 20th century, when tourism started booming. Today, it's one of the most popular activities, offering a unique perspective of the bay that can't be experienced from the cruise boats. Hoi An, a city on Vietnam's central coast, is a well-preserved example of the important Southeast Asian trading port it was from the 15th to the 19th centuries. Known for its distinctive architecture, a mix of eras and styles, the city's historic district set along the lovely Thu Bon River is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Hoi An is also renowned for its textile industry, filled with tailor shops and a culinary scene that boasts signature Vietnamese dishes. The city is further enhanced by its pedestrian-friendly streets and low-rise buildings, ensuring a tranquil atmosphere free from motorized traffic. The ancient town of Hoi An is a special example of a traditional trading port in Southeast Asia, which has been completely preserved. It is the only town in Vietnam that has survived intact in this way. Its buildings and street plan reflect the diverse indigenous and foreign influences that have combined to produce this unique heritage site. Most of the buildings are traditional houses that have been continuously occupied by the same families for generations, some for more than a century. These houses, along with many religious buildings like pagodas, temples, and meeting houses, 
lines small lanes and underscore the development of a port community. The town also preserves traditional lifestyle, religion, customs, and cooking, with many festivals still celebrated annually. The Thuban River, integral to Hoi An's history, was once the conduit for trade that brought prosperity to the city, with merchants from as far away as Japan and Europe docking their vessels along its banks. Today, the river remains a hub of activity, with traditional wooden boats ferrying tourists. This river's significance is celebrated during the Hoi An Lantern Festival, an event that transforms the city with the release of hundreds of lanterns onto the river, creating a spectacle of light and color. This festival is a tradition that occurs monthly, on the night of the full moon, when the city turns off its street lamps and fluorescent lights to illuminate the old town with colorful lanterns. These lanterns, often made of silk and paper, are handcrafted by local artisans, keeping the centuries-old tradition alive and paying homage to the city's historical use of lanterns for lighting in the evenings. The Kauanhoi Bridge enhances Hoi An's allure by offering exclusive pedestrian and bicycle access during specified hours, which facilitates a peaceful transition between the mainland and Anhoi Island. Celebrated for its nighttime views, the bridge, illuminated by lanterns and lights reflecting off the river, connects to night markets and entertainment areas. It becomes a prime spot for experiencing Hoi An's lantern festivals. Finally, the Japanese Covered Bridge is one of the most iconic landmarks in Hoi An. Constructed in the 1590s by the Japanese community to link them with the Chinese quarters across the stream. Its architecture, a blend of Japanese, Vietnamese, and Chinese styles, has been well-preserved, symbolizing the city's rich heritage and enduring legacy as a melting pot of cultures. In the remote northwest highlands of Vietnam lies Sapa, a picturesque town framed by the majestic Huang Lien San mountain range. This town is renowned for its dramatic vistas of verdant rice terraces cascading down the hillsides, valleys shrouded in mist, and the towering presence of Fansipan Mountain, the country's highest peak. Beyond its natural beauty, Sapa is a mosaic of ethnic minority groups each boasting unique cultures and traditions that enrich the region's tapestry. The rice terraces in Sapa are one of the most visually striking landscapes in Southeast Asia. These terraces, meticulously carved into the mountainsides, are not just a source of sustenance, but a cornerstone of the local community's cultural identity. Life in Sapa is intricately tied to the rhythm of rice farming, with festivals, rituals, and daily activities revolving around this essential crop. Visitors are drawn to trek through these terraces, seizing the chance to immerse themselves in the rich cultural heritage of Sapa's ethnic groups. Ascending to the summit of Fansipan Mountain, known as the Roof of Indochina, is an unforgettable adventure that showcases the natural splendor of Vietnam. 
Standing at an impressive height of 3,143 meters, this pinnacle offers a rigorous trek through some of the region's most stunning landscapes. While the journey to the top is demanding, requiring two to three days of trekking and a good level of fitness, the panoramic vistas from the summit are a breathtaking reward, presenting a majestic overview of the surrounding mountains and valleys. After experiencing the exhilarating heights of Fansipan, a visit to Sapa Lake offers a contrasting experience of serenity. This tranquil spot, ideal for leisurely strolls, is encircled by a well-maintained park brimming with a diverse array of flowers and trees, creating a peaceful green oasis amidst the bustling town. The lake itself is a tranquil body of water, reflecting the surrounding mountains and sky. In the past, the lake was primarily a source of water for the local communities, but today it serves as a recreational space for both locals and tourists. Da Nang, a coastal city in central Vietnam, has a rich history as a French colonial port and is celebrated for its beautiful sandy beaches. As the third largest city in Vietnam, Da Nang is a dynamic urban center with a population of over 1.2 million people. The city offers an impressive contrast of landscapes between the azure blue waters of the South China Sea and the Annamite Mountains. Known as the City of Bridges, Da Nang features more than 10 bridges crossing the Han River, each showcasing unique designs and enchanting lighting displays. One of Da Nang's most iconic experiences is a stroll across the Dragon Bridge. Opened in 2013 to mark the 38th anniversary of Da Nang's liberation, this 666-meter-long bridge is an engineering marvel and a symbol of the city's progress. Designed to resemble a golden dragon, a potent symbol of power, nobility, and good fortune in Vietnamese culture, the bridge captivates visitors with its ability to spew fire and water from its mouth during weekends and special events, creating a mesmerizing spectacle. Another highlight of Da Nang is relaxing at Mai Kay Beach, acclaimed by Forbes magazine as one of the world's most luxurious beaches. This idyllic beachfront with its soft white sands, crystal clear waters, and gently swaying coconut palms, stretches for about 20 miles. Offering a plethora of activities such as surfing, jet skiing, and sunbathing, Mai Kay Beach has evolved from a relaxation spot for American soldiers during the Vietnam War to a beloved destination for both locals and international visitors, lined with luxurious resorts and exquisite seafood restaurants. Just 10 kilometers from the city center lies the San Tra Peninsula, or Monkey Mountain, a verdant nature reserve that offers refuge to the red-shanked Doak Langur, dubbed the world's most beautiful primate. Once a strategic military lookout during the Vietnam War, today San Tra is a sanctuary for nature enthusiasts, featuring hiking trails, views of Da Nang, and the towering Lady Buddha statue, the tallest in Vietnam. Lin Ung Pagoda, perched on San Tra Peninsula, houses a towering 67-meter statue of the Lady Buddha or Goddess of Mercy. 
This spiritual wonder draws pilgrims with its majestic icon. Completed in 2010, this statue brings peace and protection over Da Nang. Within its courtyard stand 18 Arhat statues, each meticulously crafted to display unique expressions and postures representing the disciples of Buddha. Linung Pagoda, transitioning from a sacred site for local fishermen to a cherished tourist attraction, continues to captivate visitors with its rich heritage and beautiful vistas. Lastly, the Khao Dai Temple in the heart of Da Nang represents the eclectic spirit of the city, showcasing a unique blend of world religions. Constructed in the 20th century, the temple is a testament to Khao Daism, a religion that merges elements from Buddhism, Taoism, Confucianism, Christianity, and Islam. Its architecture, a vibrant fusion of religious symbols and colors, adds to the diverse cultural landscape that makes Da Nang a fascinating place to explore. As this video about Vietnam comes to a close, let it be a gateway for you to further explore and appreciate the country's diverse destinations, rich traditions, and unique culture. If you've enjoyed today's video, please consider showing your support. A simple click on the like button, sharing this video with friends who are passionate about travel, and subscribing to our channel can make a huge difference. Our adventure doesn't stop here. The world is full of hidden gems waiting to be discovered, and we're excited to bring you more content. We invite you to join the conversation in the comments below. Share your insights, experiences, and suggestions for where we should explore next. We'll see you in the next video.